morning, we're on Kai. Today we're going to be heading off to Udon Thani and I'm going to take the bus because the train, there's only three trains leave a day and they're the trains that head down to Bangkok and they leave at quarter past seven in the morning I think one it's just after six o'clock and one after seven o'clock so I wouldn't be getting in Udon Thani until ridiculous times, I didn't want to be, it's only a one hour journey so I, I didn't want to be getting there just after eight o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock at night so yeah makes sense get the bus and we'll see what the experience is like i've never had very very a lot of good experiences with buses but the bigger ones i always say the bigger ones are best they don't go crazy like the mini buses so yeah we'll check out the journey i've just left the sill stop at uh, my hostel but i was as i said i was in the standard room last night and it was great it was really really good get all my work done no problem no hassle you don't feel like you're waking people up yeah it was great and I'll show you my accommodation when I get to Udon Thani which again looks really good it's an apartment and uh, looks really really nice and it's cheap very cheap as always so yeah let's uh, take in the experience it's a one mile 1.1 mile walk to the bus station which is about 1.7 kilometers. Somebody's asked me to put the kilometers in there. And yeah, uh, I've got no idea on the other side. We'll see when we get there. I'll see about getting some food when I get there as well. But I'll be honest, I don't want to be eating spicy. That papaya salad, don't get it pet pet. You ask for a papaya salad pet pet and you're gonna get it bloody spicy. <laughs> I tell you, it knocked my gut for a six. The worst thing about it was I ate it all as well. I don't like wasting food. So we're just heading up down the main road and you walk straight through and down into the bus station. The Governor's Mansion. Take a look at this. Very nice old colonial building. Ah, the Governor's not lived on there. Very, very nice. Just walking past the walking street. And we're heading straight on. 10.30 in the morning. Loads of food going on. Why she sells everything. Beautiful sleepy town Nongkai. Lovely town, I'm thoroughly enjoying this time here. I can highly, highly recommend it. It's very quiet, there's loads of food going on, and it's great. It's great, it's my sort of place. It's old school Thailand. Very, very, very Thai. It's going over there. Super hard to have a sale on. These are lottery sellers, the people you see walking about with the bar, with the boards. They sell lottery tickets. It's a blazing hot day. 38 degrees. And it's just kicking on for 11 o'clock in the morning. It's supposed to get up to 40 today. I expect it could be even hotter going to Udon Thani. Because it's more inland, it's landlocked. No big rivers there. Mango season, all the mangoes are out. Sweet potato, sweaty carp. Bananas on the grill. We didn't want to film the farm the guy there. Right, one of them gold shops. There, there the guy I call like a pawn shop. Back home. There was a guy in the uniform with an M16. I could have filmed him because he was just playing with his pawn. Yeah, with the big M16 rifle. Like, what? It's a gold shop. Must be raking it in. How far from the bus station now? 
I've just met a lovely guy who watches the channel here, he's recognised me walking down the street, Bernie from Manchester. And we're having such a good chat, I knew I was walking past me, walking past where, where I was supposed to go, the road. But I've got plenty of time, I'll go another half an hour before I get my bus, and it's only five minutes walk away from here. So yeah, I just kept on walking and talking with him, really lovely guy. He's on holiday at the moment. Guys cooking away. Yeah, I asked Bernie if he wanted to be on camera. And he wasn't keen. I could see his by his face straight away, he wasn't keen. I said, oh, it's all right, it's all right, mate, it's all right. I just wanted to say thank you and nice to meet you and what have you. Yeah, I get a lot of people like that. And it's totally respectful. Totally respectful. There's a Bangkok bus just leaving. And here we are, the Nong Kai bus terminal. Well, there's not many big buses kicking about. I'm thinking this could be a mini bus. That was the bus I just left. The VIP, 515 baht. It's cheap, that. We've got Bangkok, Bath, the NTN 55 baht. As always in the bus terminals, you have the seats going down the middle and sellers on either side for each type of bus service. Not much food here. Although I want to wait till I get to my destination anyway. I want to be on that bus. Rayong, I've been there. Udon Tani, he's my man. He was a very happy, smiley guy. Yep, that's now this is my minibus. I just hope he takes it easy. It's only a short journey, like you said, take about an hour. I think it's about 40 minutes on the train, or it could be the other way around, we'll soon find out. It was 55 baht for the bus. Let's take it around, let's see what we can see. Now there's your ticket. Your lottery ticket tellers. Processed sausage. Processed balls. So I'm going to wait till I get the wood on tiny and I'll get some nice vegetables and rice or something like that. Zero spicy. Nit noi. Just a little bit. Yeah, there's not a lot going on here. Just sat doing a little bit of research. I didn't know Udon Thani was a city. International Airport, Central Plaza. Uh, I got told from James, who was living there, that was quite small. So we'll see when we get there. I was expecting it to be a small town, type of thing. Like, a bit like Nongkai. Yeah, it seems bigger. I could be wrong. Looking at Google Maps. I'll show you the bus before everyone gets on. Seen better days, as long as it gets its from to be, and not too fast. Happy days. Packed, absolutely packed out. I've got a good scene. Not by the side, I'm just sort of stretching my legs. somebody out. Pizza, 59 baht. Oh, 
non kai, not non kai, non bu non bu non is the first way I went to it before. The cheap pizza. It's got to be for a slice, right? We've arrived. Udon Tani. Maybe you can hear the the, uh, the axles on this minibus. Sounds like I'm on a train. Well, we're dropped off right outside Central Plaza. Now that, there's two bus terminals in Udon Tani. And we never got dropped off at either. We got dropped off here. So the research on the bus was just telling me there's only a half mile walk to my accommodation but it's only a mile James, who's on town? He's small? This isn't small mate God, Taco Power was small This is big it Took us 10 minutes at least to drive through a very big central plaza that's a, as big, if not bigger, than the one in Chiang Mai. I've seen a few markets when I was coming in. Oh, I'm hungry. Get this bag dropped off and we'll go and get some food. Yeah, like I say, I'm only here for a couple of nights. Today is the travel there. And food, accommodation. That's bus, that's one of the bus terminals. And tomorrow, we'll have a good tour. Check out what Udon Tani has got to offer. So there's a few places down here. Paradise Hotel, P Mansion. Oh man, didn't look like that. <laughs> Paradise Hotel. Man looks like the one straight ahead. Tallest one. Wrong, there's none of them. I've still got a four minute walk. Man just down here, right and then left. Paradise Hotel, look, can he though? Rustic bar. Plenty of little eateries kicking about. Laundry press. I got all man doing news on tiny. 30 baht. Everything. Here I am. Back to your house. Budget hotel. See that looks canny on the pictures, booking.com. You get free tea, coffee, toast, everything like that in the morning. Looks alright. Balcony. I'll show you when I get my bag in. Well it's everything I need. I was looking at reviews saying uh, out the balcony, looking at the garden view. The garden looks lovely. The table's out the front. Now you've got tea, coffee, jasmine tea. There's a toaster there. You get them little malted biscuits. You got chocolate biscuits. Hot chocolates. Warm machine. Everything you need. We've even got some things for sale there also. Free water. Yeah, it looks alright. Looks good. Wi-Fi is canny. It's not the best, but it's, it's fully workable for me. I'm happy. Please keep silence. I've got one of these key cards. I don't like these. It means I can't leave my laptop and GoPro whenever you're up to charge when I go out. I'm in number 112. 
So sometimes you can take the key off, but this has got one of them rings of steel. Can't get that off, it's welded on. So the bathroom looks good, very, very clean. Good shower. Plenty of hanging area. Couple of seats, table. TV, which has a couple of uh, three English channels on it. I've been checking everything out, the Wi Fi is a lot. Uh, big fridge, couple of freezing bottles, cold bottles of water in it, little working desk. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. As always, it really helps, it doesn't cost you anything. Thank you. <laughs> the, uh, the bed looks canny. I'll be honest with you, I haven't even started it. Uh, it's a bit of an Asian bed, bit of an in between. And in between, shall we say, bedside cabinet, couple of towels. Yes, yeah, canny, uh, balcony. Not the best view in the world. <laughs> put it, put it mildly. It's not the garden view I was looking for. Bry has to be put on the bottom floor because on the bottom floor, you normally always get the best Wi-Fi near the office, and it is. It's good, so. If, yeah, it's, it's in between, so I can work it, I can work it. It's also got a fan, which is nice. Right, let's get out and get some food. You've got a couple of coin, coin operated washing machines here as well. You've got a washing machine and a dryer. 30 baht and 40 baht, so you can get all your washing done for 70. It's washed and dried. I've just been sat in the garden with a cup of tea. So I'm a little relaxed before I go out for a walk. Get something to eat. It's lovely. Just listening to the birds. Nice and relaxing. A little well. Yeah, it's a nice place. Just around the corner. A load of street poo stalls. These will come alive tonight. Process sausage, five baht. Did I say my accommodation was £12.50 a night? I can't remember if I did or not, but yeah. Not cheap, but not expensive. Somewhere to put me head, that's all it is. And good Wi Fi, that's paramount. So we can find a little cafe. But on the back streets, there's plenty of places to eat. I like that man, always turning back. Everywhere we go, across the way. <laughs> There's plenty of places to eat inside, but they look a bit dark. I want to be eating outside so I can show you what I'm having. I've just messaged my mate Tolga, um, the guy I met in uh, VNTN. And he said, oh, Alright, yeah, we'll meet up tonight and it's so and so bar. Oh, mate, oh, I don't want to be going to no bars. I uh, saw so message back saying, oh, you said you were going to show me around. I said, no, I don't drink much. And I'm waiting for a message back, so we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. I noticed when we were sat around the pool in VNTN, he was drinking quite a bit. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm definitely not meeting no bars or Or drinking, whatsoever. I might treat myself with a couple of bottles on uh, for the China, for the Thai New Year, and that's it. That's it for me. A couple of bottles, and that's that's me done. The Songkran, fucking Kanchanaburi. Now what do they do over there? I'm gonna have to do me happy frog impression. So while I'm waiting, I've got a little bit of a plan when I leave Udon Tani. We'll have to see if it comes to fruition. I just don't want to be getting the train, I don't want the same experience. And I don't like the second class. So we'll see, I might go in a different direction. 
and uh, to do some fun on the way, something that I wanted to do for a couple of months. All your fruit juices, teas, 20, 30 baht. That's a shame. They only do a noodle as a soup. I don't really fancy that right now. I want some white rice, something to sort of my stomach. Some buy a boiled chicken. And vegetables. Or a very, very mild pad kapow. I'm on the charcoal tablets again, so. Onwards and upwards. I hear you have a bus station, you always have food. I will say, first impressions are good on Tani. People seem really, really nice. I've walked past five, six people, sweaty cap, and they've all responded. Big smile on the face. So yeah, it uh, seems like an extremely friendly place on my first impressions. Well, this looks like a knacker's yard. <laughs> Oh, there'll be something kicking about. Oh, it's a shame about that place. She had all the things that I wanted on the men on the menu. When I come to ordering them, she just had soup. Oh, I don't know if I can get through here. No, I can't. I think this is just a repair centre. Not a bus terminal. All fresh durian in the fridge. You got little bits there for 99 baht. Two pound twenty-five. Pizza Hut just up the road. I don't want one of them. Might have a look in Lotus. Lotus usually have some good food. If it's a big one. The one I go to in Canterbury, the big, uh, uh, oh, it's the big sea, big sea in Canterbury. I don't want to be walking too far because I want to do my tour tomorrow. McDonald's, definitely don't want one of them. Two all fries, 99 baht, two pound 25. Isn't that more expensive than the UK? I don't know, I don't eat it. Where to go, where to go? I think I'm very centralised here, it's not where I like to be. I think I'll head off back in the same direction, but go down one of the side streets. Go and get me an electric at the 7-Eleven over the road. That place over the road made me want to crave a bit of ice cream. Go for 40 back. They served a night of coconut shell and uh, grapefruit shell. That's what you came for, really. So I got myself a little Milo ice cream. I love these. 15 baht, 35p. Awesome. As usual, in little Thai restaurants. You get dried chilies, garlic, uh, I think they're country peanuts, and then crushed crush nuts. Uh, sweet and sour, sweet and sour chili. Uh, all, all the spices, fermented fish sauce. That's like a chili sauce. Yeah. And you get the free water, more chilies, more chilies, and your chicken broth, which is. See, that's been brewing all day. The longer you wait, the better it tastes. That is really, really good. Kaupakai. Kaupakai? I think that's right. She understood me anyway. Yeah, looking forward to it. Couldn't find anywhere to sit outside. So we're indoors. One cup. Now, I will add just a little bit of chilli to it because you've got to add some 
Start up driver. It looks good. Looks good. Give it a bit of a mix up. Just put a bit of chevy in. It's half the top. It's a big portion. It's a very big portion. No idea how much it is yet, but I'll let you know when I'm finished. Fishermen out there, 350 bat rods, 600. I've got no idea, no idea about fishing at all. 500 bat. It's a big thing over here, it's a big food supply. So that meal, all together, is 600, uh, 60 bat, 60 bat. So yeah, it's cheap. It's cheap, it's, it's not Kanchanaburi cheap, but when you're in a main road, main place like this and it's not what I wanted either to be honest I wanted more vegetables but I think she took out a bit of, cu uh, bit of cucumber so 60 baht I always have to exchange it for pound 30 just so I get it right one pound 30 and the price exchange is always in the, in the description if you need to know from different currencies where I've been around the world and for people who watch a lot yeah thank you for watching I um, hope you've enjoyed today's trip uh, from uh, where we come from, Nongkai, <laughs> Nongkai to uh, Udontani, and that's how you do it, just jump on the bus, very cheap, 55 baht, and we'll check out more of Udontani tomorrow. Again, thanks for joining me, have a good one.